Hey, welcome back to another episode of Pitbull's Garage. And this video is about a buyer's guide to a 99 to 06 Silverado. So if you're ready for a panty dropping show stopping truck, this is the video for you. So you're looking to buy a 99 to 06 Silverado. Here's a couple things I would go over in purchasing one. I'm not gonna go in order about what to look for. It's just uh, some things to look for. Starting first with the body. You want to look for first rust, visual rust, rockers, bed, bed corners. That's like all typical things that go wrong with these trucks. Um, another thing that goes wrong with them is rusting out bottom of the doors. You wanna check that, see how it is? This one, well, it came from Texas, so they don't get too much snow and salt, so it's pretty good. Another way to tell if the, you have the original rockers is down below, you'll see spot welds underneath here. That it gives a show towel sign of, this has the factory rockers on the aftermarket ones that you can get from uh, say LMC. They won't have that to be smooth. Another thing to look at is general things is mostly in all cars, go to the back, look down the side and see if you see any waves or any kind of fenders or doors or the rear bed sticking out further than it needs to be. That could be a sign that this has been an accident. Um, the bumpers rust out. Like I said, a lot of stuff is visual on this truck that you can see. And this is from the 99 to 06, they all have the same. And thing on the, the difference between uh, the years, uh, 99 to 02, you're gonna have that style grill. Not that exact style grill, because that is a HD grill to 2500, but it's gonna have around the same style headlights. And 03 to 06, they switched to what is called the Cat Eyes, better known on the Silverado SS, that kind of style. Uh, also on these, the headlights do fade, but I have already addressed that. That's mostly with any car in the early 2000s, 99. Easy fix. Mostly parts for Silverado's cheap, very affordable. And when you, well, once you get done looking at the body, you can make your way onto the inside. All right, so on to the inside. Things to look for, crack dash. Um, this one, you see this one's pretty good, but a lot of them, they're, they crack very bad. Seats, you get the common little driver's wear over there. The cloth seat seems to hold up a lot better than the leather do. I don't I don't know what kind of material to use. Some old off off the wall leftover raggedy cow butt. I don't know what the hell to use. But anyway, on to the dash. You have to watch the gauges. Um, you have a lot of problems with gauges. Sometimes it works. Sometimes the temp works. Sometimes oil pressure works. Sometimes it don't work. So just another thing to look out for. Do y'all? pretty much in a normal spot. Also, these trucks with higher mileage, she doesn't like to hold, watch the oil pressure. It should be somewhere around between 30, 30, 40, 50. 30 is kind of low, so I'd say about between 40 and 50 per, uh, PSI. That's something, that's the average PSI for these. Um, that's pretty much it with the interior. Just biggest thing is the gauges. On to the motor, heart and soul. The power, Ooh. You all right? <laughs> anyway, things to look for on this. Um, well, of course, once you or go look at any kind of vehicle, you wanna try it out when it's cold. You wanna see if it blows smoke out the back and does the lifters knock on a cold start. Usually, uh, sellers will try to warm them up before if they know you're, you're coming, so. It, get rid of some of that cold start noise. So you wanna check your oil while the engine's off. You wanna check the transmission fluid while it's running. 
And on these, they have a bad, bad, uh, notorious for the bolts or the studs, I would say, in the manifold breaking out, especially on the driver's side. So you wanna look at that. It's an easy fix if you have a welder. If not, uh, most exhaust shops can do it. They would have to weld a nut on and to get the stud out because they like breaking off. I already did this and switched them over to a traditional bolt. Uh, another thing to look at this is motor mounts. Motor mounts like to wear out on these. And uh, same thing, driver side. It's like most of the problems is gonna be on this side. So you really, really wanna stay on this side. Um, charging issues sometimes come with them. Certain models have a higher, uh, you get a higher amp uh, alternator. Check the coolant. Um, rear main seals, rear main seals on these. Check that, you can look underneath. So after you get all that, I would say go ahead and take it for a drive. Now on these trucks, they do have weak transmissions. The 4L60, eh, it's, it's just not, it doesn't like holding power. They, they're pretty good when they knew, but once they got, they're used and got a lot of miles on them, they don't like to hold up. Like, I already upgraded this one, so it's good to at least up to 500 horsepower. And I would say you want to definitely check that. Get up to a nice warm temp and kind of run it kind of hard just to see if it's any slip. They love to, third gear loves to go out in these. It's another thing to look for. On the two wheel drives and four wheel drives, you want to check the um, lower, uh, lower and upper control uh, uh, ball joints. They go out. And then on the four by fours, the wheel bearings. That's another part that loves to go out on these Silverados far as that i'm i mean that's pretty much the basics these are really good trucks you easily see 200 300 000 miles and the earlier ones 99s to 02 you had the 53 or the 43 v6 and 03 you did get the 60 in the silverados um ss is because the gmc sierra already had that option um and then it has a 6.0, and then they have a special editions like the Regency pack. And, but that's all for the newer ones, the Cat Eyes. Like, they didn't have an SS model for these. So, it's all in your preference. Like, I like them both. The both, most, all the parts are uh, mostly interchangeable. Like, you can put a newer style clip on the front of this if you wanted to, just to have that newer, newer look. So yeah, that's my take on it. I mean, the things I will upgrade as soon as I got one, like I said, keep really keep eye on the transmission. That's a, a nice future upgrade. Even if it's shifting, I will still, if you're gonna do a lot of towing and hauling, that's a major big upgrade. Far as the low upgrades I would do, um, headlights suck. Not good at all. LEDs, find a nice set of LEDs to put in here at night because you can't see nothing with the regular light bulbs that come in there other than that that's that's my opinion on what to look for likes subscribe uh, check me out at pitbull underscore garage on instagram leave me a comment down of what other vehicles you'll like to see uh, me do a review on what to look for what not to look for appreciate you watching thanks